Stop of the evening, everybody. Uh, and Dr. Watson here. What's the good word, Sherlock? Beats me, but when I find it, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Actually, there are several good words. For example, there's superb, charitable, philanthropic, and the ever-dependable too-good-to-be-forgotten, which technically, I suppose, isn't a good word, but rather a group of words. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come, come, my good man. Our table awaits. You two gents solve another case? That we have, my dear lady. One usual. Coming right up. Here you go. Enjoy. Boy, if the service here gets any slower, we'll have to find another place. The, the game's, game's afoot. afoot. So, what are you two celebrating this time? I can only assume it involves mystery, mayhem, and maleficence. You could say that. You could if I understood what you were saying. So, do tell. What dastardly crime have you just solved? Well, it's all rather hush-hush. But no one in London will ever have to worry about the howling dogs of Baker Street again. Yeah! Hooray! Oh, how'd you solve it? Did you use your superlative powers of observation? Or did basic forensics crack this particular case open? You sure talk funny. Actually, it was a combination of the two. After a careful examination of the crime scene, we... Decided the best way to explain it is in a song. Oh, no. Not again. If all of you are wondering what I found in all my wandering, here's a clue for you. I knew just what to do. And, uh, me too. If a crime has been committed, which makes you rather curious, what culprits and solutions lurk elusive and impervious? If fancy words bewilder you and make you feel ridiculous, the crime will not be solved until you grab the phone and call on me. Just call 1-800-SHERLUCK. Operators are standing by. We're so thorough in our searching as we sip and sort and sleuth for clues. Faculty for skirting any felons off the septic bruise. What? Uh, we never leave the job except to snack and maybe take a snooze. Offenders best surrender cause eventually they're sure to lose. It's all probability, really. You see, given that logic and deduction are on our side, a criminal stands a highly diminished chance of succeeding in his misdeed. Criminals, what are they thinking? <laughs> So if a criminal commits a crime who's hiding in his secret lair He thinks the crime is perfect, but of certain facts he's unaware He's left a print and not just much, a lack of hair upon the stair We'll find the clue and track him down and trap him in a secret lair It seems they're always in their secret lair The lesson here for all to see is really rather obvious When Sherlock Holmes is on a kiss It's sure to be melodious! <laughs> In the course of litigation, our opposers please are tenuous. Following your fancy talk is getting rather strenuous. The crime will not be solved until you grab the phone, wait for the tone and call on. <laughs> well, another perfect ending to another perfect day. Hmm. Something bothering you, my good man? I thought we solved these cases together, but you're the only one who gets any credit for them. Now that's just silly. We're a team. We're friends. You and everyone else knows that. But do you know that? Is that the way you treat a friend? What do you mean? Oh, we're friends, right? Of course we're friends. Well then, is that how you treat a friend? Is how how I treat a friend? Well, I'll tell you. Mr. Sherlock Holmes! Dr. Watson! I think heavens have found you! There's been a rubbery at Buckingham Palace and we're in desperate need of your services. What? There's been a rubbery at Buckingham Palace and we're in desperate need of your services. I can't understand a word you're saying. Seriously, what? There's been a robbery at Buckingham Palace. <gasps> a robbery? Then come, come, Dr. Watson. The, the game's afoot. afoot. you've arrived. We are in desperate need of your services. Now, him I understand. This crime is a case of national security. If it's not solved quickly, I fear dire consequences. Don't worry, my good man. We'll have it solved in a jiffy. What was stolen? A key. I'm sorry, I thought you said a key. I did. 
You lost your keys? Seriously, that's it? Go to a hardware store and get a copy made. Get a keychain like the rest of us. You don't need the world's greatest living detective. You need a locksmith. Sherlock, if I may. Uh, sir, what did the key unlock? Uh, the door to the room where the golden ruler is kept. <gasps> Quickly, Sherlock. There's not a moment to waste. All right, would somebody please tell me what's going on? This is where the key was only just this morning. Hmm, yes, I see. Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me. Uh oh, a little help here? What's up? Well, you. Uh, could you describe what you see? Okie dokie. It's your basic pillow without a key in it. Not much to write home about. As near as I can figure, whoever stole this has a great dislike for soft pillows. Because if you're gonna steal a key, who wouldn't take this pillow? I mean, it's gorgeous. Now, I'm putting my money on a headless bandit with a morbid fear of pillows. Why headless? If you don't have a head, you wouldn't need a pillow. Come now, let's be logical. A Prime Minister, exactly where is the door that this key unlocks? And that's where you keep the golden ruler? Yes. It all comes together now. The room that holds the golden ruler. The old golden ruler. So, what's the golden ruler? Only the most valuable treasure in the entire kingdom. Right, got that. But what is it? Wait, nobody move. Our criminal has left their footprints in the dust on the floor. We must all be extremely careful not to disturb these clues. All right, nobody move. You heard him, nobody move. I'm Detective Bill Trout from the Forensic Investigators of Southampton. And I'm Sergeant John Spud from the Canterbury Highway Patrol. Oh, great. Fish and chips, not again. Don't you guys ever take a break? We've been sent to secure the area. Prepare to be secured. Please, wait! You're disturbing the crime scene! This is our jurisdiction! Your services are no longer required. Ta-ta! Gentlemen, please! Mr. Sherlock Holmes is the world's greatest living detective! Move along. Nothing to see here. If I could just have a few more minutes. I said move along. Whoa! Look what you found. A secret passageway. Oh, good job, Sherlock. This? Oh, uh, all in a day's work. The footprints enter and exit right here. This was how the key was stolen. Move along. Nothing to see here. I shall announce this to the king and queen immediately. Oh, let me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Move along. Nothing to see here. Top of the evening, one and all. And his partner in crime, Dr. Watson? So, lads, what's shaking? When we're on the case, the boots of every criminal in London. <laughs> My good lady, the usual, if you please. So, Sherlock, what nefarious no-good nick did you and Dr. Watson incarcerate this fine evening? Come again? Uh, he means, uh, did we arrest anyone tonight? Oh, well, as always, it's all rather hush-hush. But, yours truly stumbled upon a clue that blew this case wide open. We should have our criminal before the week is out. <laughs> now, I can't reveal exactly where I was tonight, but let's just say it rhymes with Luckingham, Dallas. There I was, faced with perhaps the most difficult mystery in my career. If I failed here, the most valuable treasure of the entire kingdom would be lost. <gasps> Fortunately for the king and queen, I was on the top of my game. Yay! <laughs> hey, hey, Watson, where are you going? You haven't touched our cake. Well, you didn't need my help solving the case, so why would you need my help eating the cake? You were the one who solved the case, right? 
Well, yeah. What? Watson? Watson? Watson, come on, don't be mad. Just come back inside and tell me what's bothering you. What's bothering me? What's bothering me? What's bothering me? Yes, yes, yes. Is this a game? Are we saying everything in threes? You really don't have a clue, do you? Look, I know we're a team. You know we're a team. Everybody knows we're a team. So what's the problem? So I leave out some minor detail. Like the fact that I've worked with you on every single case? Exactly, little stuff like that. So, you ready for some cake? Because I'm starving. You are amazing. Why, thank you. You're not so bad yourself. See, when I put my mind to it, I can compliment you. Do you know what really hurts? When you stub your toe? <gasps> or when you accidentally run into a wall? Or, or when you're walking along and an anvil falls on your head? Now that hurts like the dickens. What really hurts is when someone says they're your friend, but they don't treat you like one. I see. Ah, it's Sherlock Holmes! Would you saw an old autograph books? I'm never too busy to help out a fan. <laughs> Good night! Anyway, what were you saying? Did you sign both of our names? Uh, they only asked for mine. You just don't get it. When you want to start treating me like a friend, come talk to me. What don't I get? But we're a team. Where are you going? Come back, Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson! Mr. Holmes, are you here? Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Holmes, but the garden roller has been stolen. What? I said, sorry to interrupt, but the garden roller has been stolen. What language are you speaking? Say, I speak Scottish. He says someone's golden hula is swollen. No, he said the goat and jeweler are out strolling. See, I thought I was hearing something about Samoans. Perhaps coats and stools all go bowling. Folding scooters have been rolling. The golden ruler has been stolen. Oh! oh. Stolen? Then come, come, Dr. Watson. Uh oh. Can you wait here a minute? I'll be right with you. Hello? Dr. Watson, hello? <coughs> Excuse me, but is Dr. Watson home? The good doctor's been gone all day, suffering from a broken heart he is, and I don't expect him back anytime soon. a better friend to the good doctor. How many maids does he have? Well, if it isn't the high and mighty Sherlock Holmes, if you just followed the golden rule, none of this would have happened. Now that just hurts like the dickens. Excuse me, but I must find Dr. Watson. Oh, you must, must you? Well, if you're such a great detective, go find him yourself. Oh, well. The game's afoot. Nothing to see here. Move along. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes, how good of you to come. I'm afraid this latest turn of events is all rather scandalous. What if word of this theft somehow leaks out to the press? Too late. The golden ruler has been stolen. Tell me everything you know. Oh, my. Uh, everything? Well, let's start with history. Uh, the Moors invaded Spain in 711 AD, and after uh, that About they... the case, I mean. Oh, eh, quite right. Uh, the stolen key from the key room unlocked the door to the treasure room, and the golden ruler is gone. That's about it. Who long? Nothing to see here! 
Uh, not to put undue pressure on you, uh, but would it be too much trouble to ask you to save the day? I'm on the job. So, uh, where do we begin? Don't have a clue. Usually about this time, Dr. Watson would ask something like, when did this crime take place? Well, it, it must have happened at the changing of the guard. But that's what I can't understand. After the loss of the key, we've doubled our guard duty. Right. Changing of the guard. And since every entrance and exit is blocked, and there's no other way in or out of that room, it can only mean that this is a lot harder than it looks. Unless... Wait a minute. Excellent deduction, Sherlock. All is not lost. Detective Trout of Fish and Chips has deduced that the thief and our national treasure are still hiding within the walls of our palace. Well done, Mr. Trout. You have provided a great service to your kingdom. Hey, hold on. That's what I just said to the Prime Minister. You stole my idea, Fish. That was my idea. How would you like it if I did that to you? <gasps> Wait a minute. That's it. I get it. I get it now. Thank you, Detective Trout. You stole my idea and took credit for it. I don't like to be treated like that, and I can't thank you enough. Uh, okay. Don't you see? This is what Dr. Watson's been talking about all along. In the past, I took credit for everything. I wasn't trying to be mean, but I was inconsiderate, like you. Fine. Uh, now move along. This is fantastic. I finally understand. Your Highness, we need to treat others like we want to be treated. That's exactly what the Golden Ruler says, which is why it's the most valuable treasure in all the kingdom. That means we need to treat our friends like we want to be treated, too. Oh, yes. It certainly does apply to friends. Yeah. I can't solve this case on my own. I need my teammate, the greatest detective in all the land. I need Dr. Watson. And so you shall have him. Dr. Watson, I get it. I know. I saw. Uh, Your Majesty, if it please the court, I would like to reveal the criminal who had the audacity to steal the golden ruler. Now hold on a minute. I've got jurisdiction here, so move along. Right after you solve the case. As my good friend Sherlock has rightly deduced, the thief in question is still in our midst because this was an inside job. <gasps> the thief is none other than... One of the palace guards. Are you quite sure? Each of our palace guards is loyal to the core. Oh, yes, but one guard happens to be an imposter, a foreign spy sent here to steal England's most precious possession. I won't have it. If you're a thief, step forward. Your Majesty, if I may, are any of you guards foreign spies? No. And are all of you loyal to the crown? We. Oui. I'm sorry, Dr. Watson, but I've questioned them thoroughly, and I'm afraid you're mistaken. Prime Minister, people may sometimes lie, but facts never do. First, there were the footprints we found in the key room. They're the exact size of a pea. Then there was the secret passageway. On the wall, I found black fibers. Not only do these fibers match the guards' hats perfectly, but they start and stop at the exact height of an English guard. That's how I knew a guard had stolen the key, but I still didn't know why. That is, until this morning. That's when I secretly investigated the crime scene and found the answer to my riddle. So you were here all the time. I should have known it. I found crumbs. Crumbs that turned out to be from green cheese and baguette bread. The breakfast staple not of England, but of a foreign land. That's when I knew a spy was in our midst. But you saw me question our guards. All of them are loyal to the crowd. Are they? Are they? Are they? I love threes. If my best friend, Dr. Watson, says that one of them is a spy, you had best better believe it, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> A spy! And I would have gotten away with it too, but for my irrepressible.
to the love of green cheese and maggot bread. Our national treasure has been recovered. All because of you, Mr. Holmes. Oh, no. Begging the king's pardon, but the real hero here is Dr. Watson. No, Sherlock. We did it as a team. As friends. That's right. As friends. Treat others the way you want to be treated. That just about says it all, doesn't it? Forgive me? You bet, buddy. If a crime has been committed, which makes you rather curious, well, culprits and solutions lurking loose and impervious. And fancy words bewilder you and make you feel ridiculous. The crime will not be solved until you have the phone and call on us. <laughs> a team that's not Faculty for skirting any felons off the scepter, please cover any treasure, be it gold or silver, cash or jewels, no criminal.